Good morning, everybody, and once again, welcome back in today's class. Today we are on the day number 17, right? 18, 19, 18. 18. 18. 18. Day number 18. So today, okay, leave it, leave it. Which day is this? That's fine. Let's see what date it is. 18, right? So yesterday we started with the problem management and now we are going to be close the problem management because only few things has been left and that thing which has been left is mainly that what service now provide out of the box on the reporting part. Let me log in. Okay, because reporting is something which everybody need. Either you are a consultant, either you are a business guy, either you are a manager, service manager, problem manager, any anybody you are, but you need a reporting should be there for you so that you can have a look and you can do your work. And service now provide out of the box reporting as well. So same thing we can go here and we can search for the problem. OK. And here you can see the overview tab. This is a default. Overview or the dashboard shared by or created by service now for us. OK. Like you can see critical open and these are nothing. These are the problem records or sorry. These are the reports only. OK, so you can create your reports and you can bring on the dashboard, but if you want to know the out of the box, so these are available like open problem, critical open problem like a P1 open problems, unassigned problem. Then more than 30 days group and all the things will be there. But what is the purpose for you to be see this? Now if say Anthony is doing the transformation or transition, not transformation, mainly transition for his customer. And customer says, hey Anthony, I want this report for 60 days. Anthony says, sorry, I have no idea that how to create it. So what I want to tell you here that this is out of the box. Uh, dashboard given by service now, but what you can do right click. Sorry, right click. I'm saying click on this thing and go here and click on the pencil icon. It will take you directly on the report. Try to be open the report and understand that what logic it has been given, how it is calculating this 30 days seven days, eight days so that you should know that. OK, what do you mean by the word critical? What do you mean by the open? What do you mean by the word unassigned? Seeing these charts is fancy, very good. I like it. But will it serve my purpose? My, I have to be as a consultant. I and being a consultant, we should know that how to get a report. Because these are the standard reportings where no coding is required. So we should have a good hands on on the reporting part. Because this is what the customer demand. Can I do this thing in the reporting? Can I create this report? Can I create this report? Have a look and do it. This is what the reporting here. Now the same concept which we have discussed in the incident as well. Like do we have a matrix here as well and the database as well? Yes, we have. On the problem management also few matrix has been given by service now. Matrix definition is such a So only two matrix has been given one to calculate the state duration and one to calculate from create to resolve duration. That if today I am starting a problem record and it will get close after 30 days, how much time it will take? 
So this has been done by a script. So you can open it. As I told you that it can be done two ways, either field value, either script. So in this they have a script because they are starting from new to resolve. So it has been written here. All the code and then it can. Bring the changes like this. So this problem work two days, one or one minute. So if you want, you can create metric is a good way to do the calibration between the things. But it will give you a standard thing like. Days. One to two place, three place, four place. But if you want to do the calculation. Like in the change management, when we go to the change management, there is a concept or there is a need. Or maybe here as well. I want to know that how much percent or how much average time it takes from new to assess. From assess to RCA. From RCA to fix in progress. From fix in progress to resolve. I need the timings percentage average. Which is not directly available in the <laughs> standard reporting. No. For that, as I told you earlier as well, we have to be use the. Performance. Analytics part. Let me see if I can activate that plugin in my PDI. I'll show you that on the high level side that how it's look like. OK, so this is the two metric definition given by service now. Now same goes for the database view. And let's search with the problem. This. One to see problem and the problem is selling. And second, they're joining the metric table. The table which we just saw. They're joining the metric table, which with the metric instance and the problem. Uh, Join problem. Uh, Go ahead, please. They're not supposed to use database view, right? Like in the sense, uh, it is not advisable, correct? It is not advisable, but it's also dependent on what table you are be using it. See, if if you say to business that we cannot do, then business will not be happy, right? So service now say yes, I am providing the database view, but try to use it minimum. Like if you say Atul, can I create a database view on the audit table or the log table? That's not recommended. One of my customer ask us to create a database view where these three major tables get used: incident, problem, and change. He need a report which is, is a valid ask but it is not reporting it is not available directly on the standard reporting then the only option left is the database view so we analyze his requirement before we build that report we come on the conclusion number one you should not run this report during the business hours because incident problem and change are very heavy tables if you run, it may impact your performance. This report we are creating and we are giving some limited access. Or limited visibility. Because it's a business need, so we have to be do that particular part. But if I if if I need to be say I'm agree on your part as well, Venkat. It's not much recommended. But again, depend on what type of table you are using to build this particular database view. OK, or you can go here. Report. View and run. And here just mention. So this one, I want to see all the reports where the word problem has been mentioned. So these are the reports given by service now. So you can see here. Uh, uh, Atul, just another thought. 
Hmm. Database view is re needed when we have when we need two tables to be combined and produce yes. the report, right? Now, uh, is there a case where you know in problem module we need such a kind of report where we need to have two different tables? A problem and problem SLA. Oh, problem and problem SLA. Okay, understood. Problem, and problem task. Two different tables, right? Right? Yes, Atul, yes. I understood now. Okay, so it's. Uh, so that's a use case. So if you want to depends see. Depends on the customer requirement also. Yes. And uh, we that's can recommend this also, right? Right, 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 right. Right. That is the thing. And if you want to see a little bit more reports, you can go here and you can check it on this part. Multiple reports has been given by service now as well. And you can build it easily on that particular part. OK, so this is all about our. Problem management, so we have done. All this part. Problem, problem management, state flow, non error rules. Then we see about the state movement. Of the problem we see about the state movement of the task. We see that how these things work. Like lifecycle include detecting and logging where you have to be detect only and log it and assign. In under the investigation and diagnosis, the actual RCA work has been started where you document the work around fix create non error records and then in the resolution you can go and confirm the work around you can raise a change record you can update the knowledge article and finally you can close it we have done a little demo we see that how this rc has been created how the problem task can be used and how the work around can be done and then we can Either is a normal change, emergency change, or the standard change for the fixing of a problem record. This is what the overall picture of the problem management has been completed here. Any doubt? Any question? Anybody has any doubt? Any question? Any clarification required? Good. So now let's move to the. Biggest. And the longest. And the toughest. Module of ITSM. That's called a change management. OK. I want everybody. For attending this this class for the next five days. Don't take a leave now, at least for the chain management. It is not that much easy that you can link it or you can read by yourself and you can understand. Very, very true and very clear on that particular because every concept in the change has a linking with the previous one. When I say complicated, why? Because in the change, Number one, we have a multiple type of change. Number two, there are. Two or three ways to raise a change. Number three, a change required approval. Number four, a change can be conflicted with the other change. Number five, can I deploy a change in a specific time period? Or can I can I um, I cannot do this change in this particular window? <laughs> That is called blackout window maintenance window. My change is impacting or conflicting other change conflict detection. 10 teams are working on a change. I need a team change task. Once a change has been closed, what next? Is there any unauthorized change as well? So multiple concepts involved in this. 
So this is you can see like on the high level side we can see. We have the rules. We have the state because three type of changes, three type of model. So three type of states. It's not like a no, uh, novel. <coughs> incident. It's not like that. Three type of changes, three type of states. All these concepts we are going to be discuss. These things. Policies, approval policies mainly. And change the relationship with the release as well. So target to complete this change is by next Wednesday. So today, tomorrow, and next three days will be in this particular part. OK, now tell me. What do you mean by the word change? In. ITL world. What do you mean by the word change? Uh, addition or deletion. Don't Only addition or deletion. Uh, add, uh, add, remove or uh, enhance. OK, what? A CI or a service. OK, what else? Anybody? What do you think, Venkat? Not sure, Ati. Anuj. Change, uh, update, uh, update in uh, policies. It can be a modification in the process that can that we can be count that as well. OK, I'm not sure, but yeah, be sure. Change. Yeah, uh, change, uh, what is the change, right? So it is to uh, to bring something new. Uh, Only new? No. Make there some improvement in existing, right? Or uh, okay. that's that's I, that's we really need to change, right? To fix something. Form up or to maybe update. Okay. Khalida, any inputs? Yeah, Adul, I think uh, change is addition and modification and removal. And uh, any pro process of tracking and managing uh, change something like it's going to change. I think. Why we need a change management? Now remember the example which I have given uh, that Kalda has a bike. She is enough mature to take a decision. Considering that example, tell me why we need a change management. Uh, because it uh, might. I'm sorry. Uh, so can I try? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Not. Yeah. So it might uh, involve uh, like you know third party involvement uh, uh, during a change process. So we need a uh, uh, setup. For example, it might need an approval, uh, and uh, change could be uh, of a few types. Like I believe there is standard change, and uh, there is also unauthorized change. Don't don't go and the types. Is... Don't go the types. Just tell me that why we need a change management. Yeah, there are diff uh, uh, there are multiple involvements uh, that might be needed for a change process, so we need a change management. 
Okay. What do you think, Anthony? Anthony, you should be answer this because you are in in this core area. I already area. told now. I told uh, I was the one who told addition, deletion, or modification but of this service. Why need clean management? Uh, question as told. Why do we need change management? Right. Yes. Uh, uh, the main reason is uh, to track uh, uh, to track any changes in the uh, environment, and also uh, uh, to see to ensure that uh, we have a proper authorization in place uh, for addition deletion. Only authorization. Or... See, we, uh, see. Uh, if you ask me, right? Like. Uh, uh, you cannot just change something without, uh, uh, like, the example of the house, right? And uh, if it is our house, or if you want to change anything, right? We need an approval uh, from the owner of the house, right? Uh, something like that. So you cannot just uh, uh, change something uh, just like that without the consent or appro approval of the owner. Okay. So similarly, in the organization, if you are, you know, adding or de uh, deleting or modifying a CI or a service, we need approvals from the service owner or a business owner or a CI owner, something like that. So based on Very that nice. authorization, we can do that. Good. Got your point. Anybody else want to be clear something? Uh, also, uh, uh, to have a smooth uh, transition, like we need a change management system. Where you will transition? No, uh, for the entire transition of the change, I'm saying. Where, where? Of what the processes? Uh, so, like, like I mean, wh when the change is happening, like it might be uh, causing a uh, few other like issues, a few issues. So uh, we need to like uh, ensure that there is uh, uh, a very mi minimal uh, like you know disruption during the change. So to manage all these things, uh, we need a change management uh, system. Good. Chalo. Good uh, yeah, It's a combination. Uh, it's change management help us to work as a team uh, because it, it, in that well, multiple teams, right? And right. change management, they were on one uh, table, you know, uh, to have a visibility what's going on, what pros and cons, right? And to make the effective plan before start the change and, mm -hmm. and complete the proper way. Uh, there might be our experts are involved, right? It, it is okay. a one single platform helps us to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Good. I got the idea now. So now let's start that what is change? Any change, anything which you are doing in the production system, any addition, any update, any deletion in the production system, we can call it as a change related to my services. Okay. Which change the state of a or which update the CI. Because see, when you say that I'm doing this change, it means I'm working on a <laughs> CI. Right? This is what in a simple language, in a layman language, it's called change. Why we need a change management? Because it is a formal process that govern is the right word here that govern that how a change will be deployed in the production system which says that it must have a plan it must have a deployment plan it must have an execution plan it must have a rollback plan so that in case anything goes wrong in the production system then we have a attributes or the things available on time 
because every customer want that if I am changing anything in my production system, the interruption should be minimum to minimum or zero. This is what the reason we have a change management process. Why there is no approval in the incident? Why there is no approval in the in the problem? Because if I know that there is an issue, I know the fix, I can do it. Why should I wait for my manager approval that can I go and fix it? But change is not like that. Because if you make a change, it can impact 100 of users. It can impact 1000 of users. Or maybe it cannot impact anybody. So who can take a guarantee? Nobody. So change is something where number of people sit together and say, yes, this is the right way to do this part. So that at the end, if something goes wrong, only one person should not be accountable. But logically, only one person need to be accountable that we can say. That is the reason there is a meeting happen cab. Decision taken collectively by considering multiple factors. Risk kya hai, impact kya hai, downtime kitna hai, kitna deployment time hai, backward plan kya hai, rollback plan kya hai, impact kitna hai, kaise users ko initiate karenge, testing kaise hooga, all these things has been discussed there. This is what is called the change management. It includes all the things starting from planning, approving, deployment, closing part as well. Set of activities need to be done only then we can say yes, a change has been done. Successfully, unsuccessfully is a separate thing, but a change has been done. Release management, which is part of change, or I can say a next hand of the change. Generally, people mix these two terms or they interchange these two terms, but these two are the two different terms. Release means when you are combining multiple changes in a bundle, it become a release. A release has a life cycle like build, test and deploy. Packaging need to be done, club together, send for the testing and then finally go for the production deployment. In a release can be single change, in a release can be multiple change as well. So we will discuss the release management when we go for the release part. But now let's concentrate on the change management. In the change management, this is what the overall picture look like, the touch points. Okay. Let me do one thing. Okay, let's see. We have a change management here. Change management interact with everybody except S SPM. But we can say yes, SPM also part of this change management. Okay. The first part a change can be raised by the end user as well. But he or she can raise only the pre-approved changes. Or we can say is a standard changes. They can use the service portal or record producer and they can get a change. One thing. Second, to cause or resolve any incident or problem, we can raise a change. And we saw this thing. Incident can be caused by change and incident can be resolved by change. Release. To combine every changes or multiple changes in a, in a bundle, we can use a release management where we have build, execute and test. Once a change has been deployed, we have to be update our knowledge articles as well with the steps. Or a change can be raised to create a new CI or to 
update a CI. This is what the touch points of a change management on this particular part. So we can we can create or update any service, service offering, business service, technical service, anything we can update it here. It's not like I'm talking about CI only. Anything can be taken care of here. OK. Now. After seeing the touch point. Let's have an understanding about the schema. Then we'll go for the next part. What is the table name? From by which it has been extended, the change table has been created. What is the table name that by which the change table has been created? Or extended table name. Answer. What is the table used to create a change table? Or what table has been extended to get a change table? Yes, Khalza. Uh, is it a change task? No. Khalza. You sure? Uh, sorry, Adil, could you just repeat the question? Okay. What is the table name? which used to create the change table. Or what is the table name which we extended to create a change table? Anuj. Task table. Task table. Anthony. Task table could be a child table here, right? Hmm, who said this thing? No. Task table cannot be a never be a, a child table, guys. Remember. Task table is a base or a core table. It is always a parent table. I never saw that task table is a child table. And it, it cannot be possible. Because that is already created. Child table uh, can is not. It, is it audit or uh, audit? Audit table? No. No, why are you going to audit at all? Okay. The answer is it's a task table. Okay. Incident, change, and problem. This three table has been extended or has been created with the support or on the top of. Task table only. So let's come here for the schema. What is the table name of the chain table? Tell me what is the full name of the change table? Uh, task underscore change. Could be. <laughs> no. Kaza, what is the table name of the what is the change? What is the table name of the changed request? Of the change table. Change underscore request, I think. When good. I'm sorry, at the light room. Anthony. Task underscore change request. What is the table name of an incident?
What is the table name of incident table? What is the uh, table? Table name of incident is task, right? You know, from task only it is oh. getting extended. See, it is getting extended, but what is the table name of incident itself? Okay. Anthony has its own name. He's carrying his father name definitely as a last name. But in the in the world, Anthony is known as a Anthony. Not with his father name. Uh, right? it, it could table be incident table. table. Tell me the right correct table name. It I think it could be. I don't need it now. Okay. Black uh, and white. Anuj. Ajada. Change uh, underscore model. No, 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 Ishwar. You're going far away. What is the table name of a problem table? Good, 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 Khalda. Uh, okay, I have a two questions. Practically, I have a three questions. I want to know the name of a change table, problem table, and the incident table. Tell me. So change table, we we close now that okay, everybody answer. Incident table is still pending to be get an answer. And what is the table name of a problem table? As a name, I am not going to read. To see that how much you are referring. This is the table name of a change table. Change underscore request. For the incident, it's an incident only. For the problem, it's a problem only. Only for change, it has a change underscore request table, which has been extended from the task. So we have a total four tables in the change. Change phase, change request, change task, and standard change proposal. Which all these four table has been extended from the task table only. Which has been extended from the task table only. Mainly what we use or what, which table we use, we use mainly these two tables or these three tables mainly, including task table. Task phase we not use. If you open this, go to the schema. So you can see here. Task and the change. If I put reference table, and these are the table has been referenced on the change table. Offering, service, story, user, execution plan, change model, contract, task, CI, standard change table version. This one. Workflow location. Change is the heaviest one. Many tables has been referenced and referencing as well. See, almost equal tables are here as they said as well. Because change is used in incident, change is used in problem, change is used in the change task table as well. Plus, while creating a feature, we can use a change. While creating a case, we can use a change. 
in the change phase as well we can use a change table so multiple tables are there which has which are referencing to the change request and there is a table which reference the change request in mota mota if we need to understand we have to understand three things there is a table called change underscore request which has been extended from the task table there is a table called change underscore task which also extended from the task table but it is like working on the task level in change management task play a very vital role like in the problem we have in the same way we have in the change as well it can be two task it can be 20 task as well okay so please humble request at least these basic table name you should know you should remember only then things will move forward in a in a better manner otherwise it is going to be tough for you to talk about the tables or to get a quick way i know the table name so i can write it here i can open the table directly but what you will do you will go here you will search on the tables and open other things go know the days learn this thing these are tips and tricks which you can use it okay oh, if i come back here <clears throat> let's understand this part little bit more on the role part then we'll go for the this thing okay practically if i say there are these five major roles in the change management change manager change requester change approver care manager and the change implementer change manager is the user and he is accountable for the complete change management his responsibility to make sure the changes are going as per the change process from the operational part every change must be raised before it go for the deployment every change or as per the requirement change must be discussed in the cam meeting every change must be have a execution plan implementation plan backout plan every change must be clear all the conflicts on that particular part this is what the responsibility of a change manager i work as a change manager and this is this is one of my favorite module i can say can i test some change management is my favorite module change requester who raise or who submit the change that i need this thing change requester can be a business customer business user as well and they can send an email to the technical team or the support team atul one yes. question uh, what role uh, should be associated for the change requester uh, I'll, I'll, i'll come on that part okay 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 just just as a overview part because these things will help you to understand if you are reading the something on the it perspective as well okay so that is called a change requester a business user can be a change requester who can raise a change from the portal but it's a pre approved only or they can send an email to the support team and on their behalf support team can raise a change in the system then change approver khardas bike is not working it required 10000 rupees to be fixed she is mature but not enough mature that she can spend 10000 rupees without taking approval from his parents so they are the change approver either they will approve either they will reject but once kalda get married and she is allowed to spend almost or up to 5000 8000 rupees without any concern if the things look good required for home she can buy it then the cab manager 
if you ask me this can be c a b or this can be c a a b c a b or because this a is very from company to company customer to customer the full form stand for the change advisory board someone says no no it's a change authorization board someone says change approval board but what i think it should be caab change advisory and authorization authorization board because in this place in this in this change this is a set of people not a single person there is a set of people who has this capability and required role or position where they can have a full rights to approve or reject a change they are the approver but they specifically mention the cab manager who run this cab it can be change manager or it can be different person as well because service now in reduce a new concept called the cab work bench to run the cab work bench you must have a cab manager role so this is a separate now change implementer a team who is going to be implement the change finally is called the change implementer team or you can say a deployment team is the this particular team we can say called the change implementer okay understand more let's go here in the system i'll pick up your question uh, now if i see on the mota mota part the first role that is called a change manager this is the user or this is the role if you have given to anybody this user can override or this user can do any manipulation in the change he or she can approve the change on anybody behalf he or she can remove anybody from the change for the approval as well means he is the whole soul responsible for the change management it is a biggest role cab manager role as i say that now service now has introduced this concept called this part of cab work bench so they have introduced a separate role otherwise earlier the cab change manager only the cab manager he can run the same thing but to make it a little bit more clear more differentiation service now created a new role called the change sn change cab dot cab manager we will see this thing will see when we going for to raise a cab work bench then sn read and sn write just to read and write about the change someone who can make a change on the schedules i never work on this part scheduling pages change schedule page i have no idea or only if you want to give a rights to a user who can view the change is this one view changer now anthony your point which rule is required to raise a change right which yes, rule is required to raise the issue on the amazon if you buy any product no rule required right you must you just have your credentials and log in and there is a complaint or issue or defect or you anything which you want to do the same thing applicable here if you ask me minimum rule is this essence change right to raise a change record minimum 
but if i am a end user then also i can create a change but only for the pre approved changes normal or emergency changes are never ever raised by the end user even change is the module which is mainly used by the internal teams and to raise a change you must have a minimum is this right rule or if you have right rule that will be more good okay so these are the roles required and in the industry these role play a very vital role everybody did not get a role of change manager or the cam manager no a very selected person get the this role because it has a high importance the question is for example uh, the end user uh, you know uh, is as a, is having access for the pre approved changes right yes and uh, normally uh, the normal change and the emergency change it is done by the technology yes uh, also uh, there is a business requirement even they they raise the change my my point is we have itl users uh, then we we have uh, service now admin roles there are different roles right in mm -hmm. that category uh, which role should be assigned to the end users so that they have access only to the pre approved changes and See. what role is required for the other like business and the it for the normal and emergency changes how how it is done okay so if you say end user practically there is no role required for the end user no role is required for the end user this is what the meaning of the end user do one thing take your pdi create a user xyz and don't give any role to that user not a single role go to service portal and see the catalog called the standard change and raise it this is what the purpose of a end user if you are giving a role because as I, I i'm not sure that i we discuss here or it was my my admin training only that end user don't require any role and if you are assigning any role to any user these are chargeable one these these roles we can say are the license and these are the chargeable one sn read sn change read sn change write cab manager approver change manager system admin itl it is it is chargeable it means company is paying for this we we go in the market and say i am working as a change manager but service now but your your customer is paying for a license to the service now for this one that is i'm saying minimum role we required to create a change is this not the itl itl may be costly but this can be a smaller one let's say i am running a company and i i am i purchase service now in my company we just only work on the change or the cmdb let's let's say only a change then why should i buy the itl license if i know that my work can be done with the change right rule only it is cheaper and i can give this chain this rule to my users and they can use it it is costly so minimum role is this not itl and end user don't require any role on that particular part clear anthony sure good now this part i mentioned one more thing so we have see manager read write all cab manager admin all things we see now if or once a standard change template has been created 
see this, this reason i'm saying that in the change every concept has sub concepts as well so now one more concept is coming that standard change has a template a new word has been added and before template it is a proposal so proposal template and then change for a single term we have a three more terms to be discussed so once a standard change template has been created nobody including admin cannot delete that you can retire that you can deactivate that but you cannot delete that particular template from the service node database this is what it says second part once a change has been raised and you want to change the model of that change oh i want to be raise application change but i by mistake i raise the infra change can i make a change in the field now after raising a change it cannot be done you need to be either move to the new state or either cancel the change nobody means nobody that is i i mentioned this as a red color no role can give access to do this two operations clear yahan tak koi doubt koi question koi clarification <laughs> if you have you can ask guys okay now i know that we have already very less time let discuss little bit about this type of changes so that tomorrow your picture will be clear and we can proceed further <laughs> normal standard and emergency change normal change is a change which follow a complete life cycle in a change we have a two approval mechanism two states approval mechanism one is assess two is authorize practically if i say a normal change is a change which can be deployed after one week or the two weeks and required a set of approvals kind of a technical assessment and also required a cap manager approval cap approval is considered as a normal change like mummy log hame kehte the if you go to the city side can you get this thing for the home okay mom i'll i'll get it this i'll am going to city on on wednesday i'll bring on that part that is called the normal change which can wait not that much urgent to do it and normal change has a two approvals assess and authorize <laughs> then emergency change there is a fire you cannot say that i'll call the fire after two fire brigade after two two days no emergency change means a change which has been raised to fix any p1 or major incident and need to be deployed within the hours maybe next one hour next 10 minutes next 15 minutes next two hours next three hours and emergency change always bypass assess and directly go to authorize because i cannot take a lot of time to be to get the everybody's approval he can you prove it can you prove it can you prove it i need the business approval give me allow me to deploy this change in the next 15 minutes okay done there is it say authorize i have a case is when i was working as a change manager i have a case is a deployment was going on it was a complete weekend deployment was going on and deployment get fail and 
team need or the development team say that we have to be send a new change as well. Then I get a call. Atul, you are the change manager. Could you please allow us to deploy a change? Then I ask, okay, what is the impact? All the things. If I say yes, it is required. I said, okay, go ahead. Deploy the change. But before that, create a record. And after the change deployment has been done, update the record. This is what the emergency change says. Standard change. No approval is required on the change. Which is pre approved where the risk is. Minimum. Not to zero. Near to zero or minimum is the right word. Like. If you want to you are at home, if you want to drink a water, will you ask your mom or dad every time? Can I have a water? Can I have water? Can I have water? No. These are the pre approved changes. You can go and you can have a water. So no approval is required. So once a, a standard change has been raised, it moved from new to scheduled state. But these changes need to be raised with the support of a template, a format. This is what is called the standard change or called the pre approved changes. Clear everybody. Yes, Atul. Atul, uh, tomorrow when we take this class, uh, uh, could you give a real time example with service we'll now for all these? We will, we will create, we will do the demo okay. as well. This okay. is just to clear the basics on the theoretical part that this is the meaning of the change. So now you have to be see, you have to be understand that what is assess, what is authorize. Because these are very heavy words. We will we will give a complete demo of the change that raising a stand, normal change. Closing it, how to raise a standard change, how to raise a template, how to create a proposal, everything we will do. And why we need these things that also we will discuss. Clear everybody. Yes, Adul. Good. Any last question before I stop the or the close the recording for today? Good. Let me. Uh, no, just uh, tomorrow before you will start. Uh, just give a recap of this um, again, and we'll go ahead after that. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Definitely. Yes.